Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi, and we are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both of them. Today is our day number 12, and we are dealing with Oki Matra. The first four days, day number 1 through 4, we did Aki Matra. The next four days, day number 5 through 8, we did Iki Matra. On day number 9, we begin o Oki Matra 9, 10, 11, and 12. As you can see, today is our last day of Oki Matra, part 4 of 4. Oki Matra, just like Iki Matra, it has a short O and a long O. Short O, you take your letter, a Hindi letter right there, and then you put a line and this symbol. This is nothing new, we have done it many many times and in Urdu all you have to do is add vowel to it, whatever the letter is. For example, here is your B, B and you just add a vowel to it, it becomes a bow. Badioki Matra is the same thing except it, in addition to vowel it takes another symbol called Zabar on the top. This is called Zabar. And instead of taking one of them, this takes two. Chotyoki Matra, Badioki Matra. Chotyoki Matra would be words which are which which obviously have O sound, but the O is very quick, is very short, such as English words to or bo. To or bo, O is very short, it's very quick, it's done. As opposed to these words here, where you if you where if these words are read, you kill you can clearly hear the O sound is longer. Court, bought, so, for, caustic and so on and so forth. Let's begin. Here's the first pair. The word is K but notice this K has a bottom uh, has a has a dot on the, on the bottom that tells us that we're looking for this K in Urdu, we're looking for this khar and not this khar. Kaaf and do chashmi hai makes the khar sound. That's not what we're looking for. This is the exact equivalent of the, of the Hindi letter khar. This is the approximate. This is khar. K. Jim che hai k. We did that before. They come in order. Uh, we didn't do them in order, but there, right there is a k. We did it on day number four. So we have khar, khar. R, Kur, then we have a Gaf, Gaf and a Wow, that makes a Go. Of course it makes a Go because we're looking for a word with Oki Matra, Go. Kurgosh, Kurgosh, and here's the Sh. There we go, Kurgosh. Now we have to figure out how to put these letters together in Urdu. K, as we already know many many, as we have done it many many times, whether it's K or G or Che or He, when they, when it's about to join something, it's going to make a short right there. That's a K. Then in the short version, did you join Re to it? That makes a K. We already have a Go, and the Shin is not going to join. It's going to sit like that. That is a Kargosh. That's a short Yoki Matra. Let's look at a word with the Bari Yoki Matra. I don't know if I explained it or not, I already forgot it, but in case you're wondering what caustic means, caustic means something that burns like acid, that's why people talk about caustic comment. A caustic comment is used metaphorically obviously, a caustic comment is a comment that is so hurtful that it feels like as if somebody just poured some acid on your skin, caustic. But as you can see, caustic has a long O. So we have a Chodiyoki Matra. Let's look at a word with Bariyoki Matra. Mo. So that's a Mo. And because it has a Zabar, we need two of them. Mo. And again, I did not explain this thing because we have done it many, many times. This is a meme. This is a meme and a wow. And when meme is about to join something, it looks like this. And it joins the wow. That's a Mo. Mo, so this is our so in the short version. The long so, the, the, not long so rather, but the full version looks like this. When it's about to join something, it just sits like that. Mo, so, and it's going to join the meme. How do we join scene to the meme? You take one more 
and you just continue. And to erase the stick, we just make one more and continue. There you go. Mosum. Mosum, as you can clearly hear, has a longer O. Mosum, as opposed to Kargosh. In Kargosh, the O was very quick. Let's look at one more with the Chotyonki Matra. O, Aleph, O, K, O, and again because it's this K, we have to remind ourselves by putting a dot underneath it. O, O, K, Ro, and then Te, Akhrot, Akhrot. Let's put them together, shall we? So again, this curve when it's about to when it's about to join something, it's going to become like this. Alif is going to stay by itself. That's ak, and then this is ro, akro, and then t is going, t is going to stay by itself. Akrot. You know what akrot is? Akrot is a walnut. Akrot. Let's look at one with the body okay, matra. Ko. So it's going to take two of them because there's a zebra there, ko, and then lam, and a na. Kol, na. Kol na. But we can't leave it like this. That's not how it sits. The lam, this lam is going to join the na like this. It's just, it's just going to move closer. That's all it is. It's going to move closer. Kol, na. Kol na. As in to open something. Let's look at another one. This word we have seen it many a times when we're talking about choti matra and badi matra. We write it on the blackboard all the time. Let's write the word choti. Ch and then T. Choti. But this letter Ch that you have in Hindi. We unfortunately do not have that in Urdu. We don't have a ch. So what do we do? We take our ch, which is ch, and we add her to it. Do chashmi here. Somewhere here we have a do chashmi here, right there. We talked about it many, many times. So that's how we write ch. Just like you would do in English. If you want to write ch, if you want to write ch in Urdu, you will write your ch, and then you put another edge. So this is our ch. This is our ch and then another edge, ch. When we put them together, ch looks like this, and then you add do chashmi to it. So that's so far, all of that is just ch. This thing right there that we saw there is just ch. All of that is ch. To which we're going to add wow. To which we're going to add wow because it is cho right there. I don't know why I wrote it so low. Now it's cho. Now we have to add teeth T to it. So that's a T and a Choti. Ch choti A. Ch choti A, as we have learned it already in the Iki Matra, Choti A means it takes a Badi Iki Matra. So here we have two Matras. We have Choti Oki Matra and Badi Iki Matra. Badi Iki Matra because it takes Choti A. When we put them together, it looks like this Choti. Let's look at one with the with a body oki matra. So here we have seen to which we're going to add wow and the scene has a zebra on it. So all of that makes a so. So with the two of them. So ch so ch na sochna sochna is into think. Let's put them together, shall we? So when it's about to join something, when scene is about to join something, we already know it looks like this. And it's about to join wow, so we're going to make one more for the wow. There you go, that's so. The ch is going to stay like this, become like this. And you just add na, na to it, sochna. Sochna, to think. That's the one with the choti yoki matra. That was the badi yoki matra, obviously. That's two with choti yoki matra. 
Oh, this is a tricky one. Let me write the Hindi one first. Ho. Show. Hosh. How do we write ho? Well, as we know, we have again talked about many, many times today. Our day number 12, we have gone through this letter many times. He comes in four different forms in Urdu. This is a he. That's a he. Looks like this. That's a he. And that's a he. They're all he. This is called do chashmi he. Do chashmi he is used when we when we want to produce sound like ba, ta, ga, uh, da, ra, and so forth. When we want to add edge to a letter to make make the sound for which we do not have letters in Urdu. For example, ba, we don't have a letter for ba in Urdu. So what do we do? We take our be and we add do chashmi here to it. And it becomes a ba. Looks like this. Ba. Bharat would be ba. Rat. That's how we write Bharat. Here we are about to use this hair. This is the hair we need for hosh. Not any of the other three. This is the hair we need. Obviously we are not going to use this hair because this is dochashmi hair. Dochashmi hair performs this function. This hair is not what we are looking for. This is not what we are looking for. We need this hair. How does the writer know which hair to use? As I have given you the answer many many times, the writer simply has to know you have to know your spelling. So here's your her, to which we're going to add wow, that makes a ho, and then show. Hosh. Hosh. Hosh meana, meaning to become conscious. Let's do one with the barrio ki matra. So here's your k, to which we're going to add wow, and k is a zabar, so that's our ko. Two of them because it has a zebra on it. That's our ko so far. And then we have a fur. Fur. Why this dot? Why this dot? This dot is to remind that we are using, we are looking for this fur. Just pause for a second here so we can discuss this thing. So that's this fur right here. Other fur would be the combination of pe. And a hey, do chashmi hey. Right there, we talked about it right now, and that will produce a first sound, and that looks something like this. And this is exactly equal to in the letter f. This is exactly equal to. <coughs> this fe does not exist in Hindi, so any spelling that requires this fe to remind ourselves that we're looking for this fe, we put a dot there, so that we know that we're talking about this fe. So what does it read? K wow, K wow ko, it has a zebra on it, that's a ko, long ko, long ko rather, ko, fur, cough, cough as in fear. Let's put them together. Let's put them together, shall we? So this is our ko, with the zebra, it's going to join the wow and then fur, there you go, cough, cough as in fear. Let's do the next one. Next one, fortunately, will have the same ho, so we don't have to write it again. Oh, we could have left, I could have also left the so. It's too late now. So we have a show. Hosh. And then we have a ye and alif. Pay attention here. Here, this ye is not, used, not being used as a matra, it is used as a letter, letter y, as a letter ye. Hosh, ya, that's, that's what that is, it's just a letter. How, another clue that you have there that it is not being used as a matra is because how can you have two possible matra next to each other? This is a ya, this is, this is just a ya, it is being used here as a letter. And when it's about to join something, this ye takes this shape. And when it joins the alif, it's going to look like this. So we have a ho, then we have a sho, ho shiar, ho shiar is in clever, ho shiar. Let's do the next one with bari ki matra. Well, something that we talked about just a second ago, this is our ba, and a do chashmi hai, that's going to make a ba, 
That's a bhava, but we don't need a bhava. It has a zabar and a vow. So we need a bow. Bow. Now watch what happens. These two are going to combine. What appears, what appears as one letter in Hindi, ba, will be these two together. So that's a ba. All of this is just a ba, to which we have to add wow. So now it becomes bo. And if you put a zubber on it, it becomes a long bo. Bo, bo, ko, na. Bontna, bontna as in to bark. Bontna. That's the one with the chotioki matra. Go. To which we're going to add wow. So that makes a go. And then ra. Gora. Gora is in white. As in white. Let's do one more. But this time with Badio Kimatra. Ro. So, so far it's a Chotio Kimatra. We put a Zabar on Re. And now we know we need a Badio Kimatra. Ro. Sh. And then Noon. And a choti ye. Noon and a choti ye will make a knee. Like this. Rosha knee. So again, we have, one more time we have a word with two matras. Choti oki matra and badi iki matra. How do we know this is badi iki matra? That it's, it's supposed to go on the right and not the left. How do we know it's a badi iki matra? Because we are using choti ye. Choti ye is used in Urdu, which indicates. Badi ki matra. Roshni. Roshni is in light. Let's put them together. Actually, there is nothing to put together. We just have to put sh next to this one. So this is our row, and there is your sh. Roshni. Let's do one more. With choti oki matra. With choti oki matra. So here is our sh, to which we are going to add wow. So that's a show. Oh, that's it. Sure. Sure. Sure is in noise. Let's put them together. So we take two of these. We make one more for the vowel. That's a show and r. Sure. Sure as in noise. Let's do one with the body oki matra. This time we're going to use a dal. Dal and a vowel. This, is, this letter is called Dal, it's a D. Dal. We learned it obviously a long time ago, right there on the very first day. Dal. But it has a zabar on top of it. Because we are dealing with Badi Oki Matra. So this is Do, long Do, long O, Do. Then a R, R, Do. Dorna. Dorna is in to run. Dorna. Let's do it one last one, shall we? So here's our te to which we're going to join wow. So that makes a to. To. And then it has one more letter and then a lam. Tol. Tol into, as in to weigh something. Tol. How do we combine them? Very simple. Just make it smaller. Just make it smaller and continue and put a wow next together. That's a toe. And then the lam stays by itself. Tall. Tall as in to weigh something. That was the end of Oki Matra. We finally finished our third Matra. Three down, two to go. It's starting from tomorrow on day number 13. Day 13, 14, 15 and 16 we'll do Oki Matra. Choti Uki Matra and Badi Uki Matra, obviously. And then the na next four days, uh, from 17, 18, and 19, 20, the next four days we'll do Eki Matra. And by which time we will have finished five matras. Today we finish our third matra. We did Aki Matra, we did Eki Matra, today we finish the Oki Matra, 
and then tomorrow we'll begin Oki Matra. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.